Hello and welcome to Kwetu Tech. It's always my joy and delight to host you in my videos. Uh, today I seek to teach you a little bit or really to educate you a little bit about the coffee maker. Uh, the coffee maker is basically working under the principle of many electric kettles. Electric kettles you have at home but it's a little bit uh, sophisticated in that this is where you are able to make actually coffee while in electric kettles we can only boil water uh, as my culture as my tradition i will be able to show the practical using the electric jug but also using the coffee maker in my next video or probably attach it together with this video so let's uh, begin so what we have once we plug in the coffee uh, maker because we have a plug which is connected to some cable uh, in that top plug there are three uh, terminals the three terminals the first one is uh, the line terminal that which is connected to the light cable and the other one is the negative the one that is connected to the negative cable and lastly the earthing terminal so once current gets in uh, through the terminal it goes to the fuse which is actually connected uh, just inside the top plug to a fuse and mostly the fuses are rated 13 amperes. Mostly they are rated 13 amperes. So that current will move all the way to a thermostat. A thermostat is basically used to uh, switch on or switch off the flow of that current accordingly. And the thermal fuse works under the principle of a resistance. Uh, once the electric jug uh, has heat has been heated or once there is a lot of uh, quite some temperature uh, this thermal fuse is the one that is going to disconnect it is going to disconnect as long as the required amount of heating has happened in our coffee maker or our electric uh, kettle so the thermal fuse uh, after the thermal fuse current will flow into the thermal fuse uh, now, a thermal fuse is just a fuse, just like any other fuse, other than this one is sensitive to temperature and it responds to temperatures up to some certain degree. Some of them are rated 120, uh, 120 degrees and onwards, 135 degrees uh, onwards. So if there is excess temperature that cannot be accommodated in this circuit, then it is the work of the thermal fuse to trim and therefore disconnect the flow of current and safeguard uh, the appliance but also the electrical uh, uh, installation in the house. So from there we move to the heating element and by now the circuit should be complete because the negative cable which is connected to a switch has already been uh, closed so this uh, switch has already been closed and therefore current is now flowing in a complete uh, circle it is flowing in a complete uh, circle or there is a complete uh, circuit so, of course, for safety purposes, to avoid electrical shock, you need to add uh, your electric kettle. And so, the earthing cable is connected just next to, actually, it's connected uh, below the heating element. Because the heating element has got some metallic part, so you connect your earthing uh, cable there, so that you can prevent electric shock uh, for those who are using the electric kettle so we will be sharing more 
especially when I bring the physical one. When I'll be displaying the physical or demonstrating using the physical electric kettle or the physical coffee maker. Thank you for watching and see you in the next channel.